where I grew up. I grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee, and my um, I grew up in a small town. And, and when I played high school football, everything there was a huge sense of community because of our high school football team. Was that the same when, when you were playing? Did you feel a sense of community or uh, how a, how a small town could have pride based on what you guys were doing? Kenny, you talking WPA, Western Pennsylvania. <laughs> you know, that's all we knew was football, basketball, baseball, the steel mills and the coal mines. If you didn't get a scholarship back in those days to college, your folks couldn't afford to send you to school. Uh, we were taught from an early age to move on in life, to improve, to get better quality of life, whatever. Football had a chance of getting you on to college. It had a chance of getting you going, man. Friday nights, and it seemed like everywhere in America it was Friday nights for football. But yeah, man, that's where Beaver Falls, everybody was up there. My dad didn't always get there because he had to work a lot in the steel mill, but he made plenty of games. Uh, it was consuming, and especially when you're winning. <laughs> Those fans were there when we were losing and we heard about it, but boy, when you're winning, it just lifts everyone that's around. Um, you may have had, had several of these because you, you, you were able to play at different levels, but if you could pick one, who, who, who was the person that you looked up to the most or who was your mentor and Wow. You know, because I know in college you, I mean, played for. Okay, I still go back to home. I believe most things start at home. The way I was raised, my brothers had three older brothers, older sister. Competition was a part of their lives, and I inferred what it meant to them, and they taught me what it meant. So my first mentors, aside from my parents, were my brothers. Basically, that got me going into sports and dealing with the valleys, uh, getting knocked down, getting back up. Yeah, th those were my mentors to begin with. And I, uh, that's where it starts. It, to me, it started at home. Yeah. Um, what excited you the most about game day, whether it's on Saturday or Sunday. I mean, not, not, you know, not the preparation, but just the, like, I remember on, on one Friday, I was so excited to play a football game, but my, I felt like my face was numb all day. I feel it tingling. I didn't just, because I just couldn't wait. What, ex I mean, what, it, like, what excited you the most about game day? Well, there's always something, and a lot of times it was a different thing. One was the opponent. <laughs> Sometimes you have a little more respect for an opponent when you should have the same kind of attitude each time you go out there to work. But you seem to get excited uh, more for a rival, you know, in Alabama, Auburn, you know, I don't know who Tennessee plays, no one cares. Uh, but you get excited, the excitement you have to learn to deal with, you know. There was a time when I didn't want to get nervous. I didn't want to get excited. I'm going to be cool, right? Well, it took me a while to learn that, you know. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got, I got to change the battery. I just went down. Hey. Sorry.